Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about C Sharp and object oriented programming. So let's get into it. So the question in question was Frederick, do you think it's a good idea for a front end developer to learn C Sharp and do some projects in C Sharp in order to master object oriented programming? And I will give you the short answer. And the short answer is no. I don't think so at all, but it kind of depends. So the reason why I say this is because if it has to do quite a lot with the formulation of this question, I would say, because when I listen to someone say something like, should I learn C, C sharp in order to learn object oriented programming, but I'm a front end developer. That gives me an indicator. I might be wrong here, but it sounds like you're not really all that interested in C Sharp for the sake of like for C Sharp as the language. You're basically saying, probably thinking something along the lines that, well, I'm primarily a front end developer, but I've heard Frederick and probably a few other people as well say that C Sharp is a really good language to learn object oriented programming. And it is true. This is absolutely true. I have said this on many occasions and I will continue saying so because it is true. But I think that the perspective that this person has is wrong. What I mean by that is not that you shouldn't learn C sharp, but rather that I think that you're thinking very short term here. You are in a very similar fashion to how some people have asked me about other things, thinking, of, basically stating that you're going to learn something that you may not be all that invested in only because you want to gain an understanding of something that doesn't really have necessarily anything to do with that thing. What that basically means is that you can think of yourself as a, as a person who desires to learn how to use a gun. You, dis you want to learn how to manage a weapon and how to maintain a weapon. And the first thought that pops into your mind is that, you know what, I'm going to become a hunter. Now, why in the world would you go through all of the extra overhead that is required to become a hunter just to learn how to handle a gun? You, you don't need to learn how to kill animals, like uh, how to skin animals and take care of the furs and take care of the meat and all that stuff in order to learn how to use a weapon. That's what I'm saying. It's the exact same thing here. There are plenty of resources around object oriented programming where you can do all of these things and learn all these practices in JavaScript. Today, you can learn object oriented programming from JavaScript. You can learn it from Java, C sharp, like there's just because these languages are very associated with object oriented programming doesn't necessarily mean that you have to learn them in order to learn object oriented programming because OOP is a higher concept. It is, it's it, it's um, it's language ag agnostic pretty much unless it's a very functional language we're talking about here but that that's kind of the thing it's a it's a design pattern or a paradigm of working that is pretty present in most languages so what i argue that you should do if you ask me is that you should really ask yourself am i first and foremost a front-end developer because if your desire is to be a front-end developer, then I think that your interest level is going to be maintained much, much more if you stick with JavaScript and learn the object-oriented principles from, from JavaScript, basically, from learning resources that are kind of designed to help a person who does JavaScript learn these concepts rather than force yourself to go through the process of learning how to use Visual Studio and set all of this up and like basically just because you want to get at that end at the, the object oriented programming knowledge, right? So pretty much just ask yourself that because if that is your focus, you want to be the front end developer, then I think you should do that. But if your desire is to be a full stack developer and you really do think that C Sharp is an interesting language, then go for it. For sure, C Sharp is a great career choice for any programmer. I would say that if you want to do object oriented programming and, and in kind of the same breath, set yourself up for a very, very stable career, C Sharp and Java are among the best choices that you can make, for sure. So 
if it's not just that you want to learn object-oriented programming and still stick to its front end, and, but you actually do want to be a full stack developer, then go for it. Then I really encourage you, this, then this is a great, great choice. So what I want you to take away from this is that if your idea of figuring out how to learn something like object-oriented programming is to learn a language that just happens to be associated with this principle and you're not really interested in that thing, I think that you're setting yourself up for, fail for failure because what you're going to do most likely is that you are going to sit down, you're going to try to learn a language that you're not interested in and then by just a few weeks in most likely, you're going to start feeling, start like you're you're gonna feel like you kind of know the basics and then you're gonna stop or you're going to feel demotivated because you're not interested in the language and that is just very detrimental to you like it's a waste of your time considering that you don't actually have to put yourself through that in order to learn OOP you can simply find resources in JavaScript land that teaches you the same principles but on the other hand, if you're really interested in becoming a strong object-oriented programming understanding full stack developer, then C Sharp and Java and these sorts of languages are great, great choices. So just have that with you when you make your decision. Have a great day.